Happy Thursday, Fairview friends, family, and whoever else may be finding this video. I hope it meet, meets you well, that um, the Lord is using you this week, and that hopefully this will be an encouragement. And I just thank you for joining us as we continue our study through the Psalms. So if you have a Bible or device and would like to follow along, we'll be in the 70th Psalm this week. That is Psalm 70, and we'll start in verse 1. This is Psalm 70. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let them be turned back and brought to dishonor who delight in my hurt. Let them turn back because of their shame who say, Aha! Aha! May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. Let's have a quick word of prayer, and we'll, just, we'll talk about this. Lord, thank you for your word. Your word is truth. We thank you that um, you would call us to yourself, that you would uh, leave us your word, that you might instruct us and have us go where you would lead. Lord, I'd ask that this time, this short time together, um, would just be edifying and instructing for us as your people to continue in these lives you have blessed us with as as yours and doing the work you have called us to. And we ask this in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And this week I really would just like to anchor and call our attention to the very last part of this psalm, starting in verse 4. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Friends, that should be us, regardless of the circumstances in the world around us. Let's, like David says, rejoice in his salvation, say that God is great, and as we seek him, rejoice and be glad in him. He has blessed us beyond all measure. He has already given more than we could ask for. And yes, these times are, are crazy. We see... Um, what looks like the world falling apart around us, if we're being completely frank, but, but God is the cornerstone. Christ will never change. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He is our God. He is our salvation. Let's rejoice in Him. And this last verse. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. And when we find ourselves in those times of trouble that this world will throw at us. God will be our last resort. He should be our first resort, and he should be our resort every step of the way. He will always be there. He will hasten to his children. He is our shepherd. He is our help and our deliverer, and all we need to do is cry out to him, follow him, seek him, rejoice and be glad, and those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Thank you for joining us uh, once again this week. We'll see you next week. May God bless you.